Hello everyone, here we are with another tutorial video about Abacus and in this video we will handle a question come from our, one of our friends who asked about how can we do uh, an Abacus analysis using finite element to analyze um, a column applied uh, with a concentrated load and pin, pin connections at the end of this column um, and he wants to know how can we find the critical load, critical buckling load, and the deflection. So here we go. In order to do that, I assume that I will deal with this column. A column with a width of 2 inch and height as 2 inch also. So we can find the area of that column, the area of the cross section of that column, and the moment of inertia. And I will assume that the length is 60 inch. And I will use the steel for that, so the modulus of elasticity will be 29,000 KSI and the expected critical load will be 106.01. This is the Eulerian load and this is the equation that governs that uh, value. Um, so let's go to Abacus and start with that and as usual we start with part. Uh, we will create our column. And simply it will be I will start from zero zero and go to two by two this is the cross section you can measure it using the measurement tool so this is as you can see it's two inch enter and this is another two inch okay so we are good now the the length will be as we said 60 so this will be very slender column okay here is our column now, in order to easiest using boundary condition, I will uh, cut my column like this. Okay, so if I choose this point and normal to this line, so I will divide it into two, and then I will choose this surface and using the point and normal, and I will choose this time, I will choose this point and normal on this line so now we can apply a constricted load here at this point at the center point of that cross section or we can apply it, uh, a uniformly pressure uniformly distributed pressure on the top surface of this column or otherwise we can do another thing uh, we can actually define the uh, uh, the boundary conditions the pins that we have at this point and at this point as well depending and what the uh, direction of rotation that we would like to this column to rotate about. So we're done with that and we will move to our property. In property, we'll define our material, which will be steel. The mechanical properties, remind, please remember that we are doing an elastic analysis only. So we will choose elastic. We will define modulus of elasticity as 29,000, as we said and Poisson's ratio for steel is 0.3. Now we will create our section and this will be section, let's call it a cross section. You can give it the name that you would like. And the category will be solid, the type is homogeneous and the material is a steel as defined here, so it's okay. And then we will assign the cross section to our beam, our column and we are done with the properties. This is our column. Now, we will move to assembly. Very easy, we have only one element and just hit okay and you are okay. And in a step, now, we will create a step and we will call it step buckling. The procedure type, we have to, to change general to linear perturbation and we will choose buckle perturbation yeah. and hit continue and for eigenvalue solver I will keep it as it is and I'm interested to find the first buckling load only so I will hit one the number of eigenvalues requested it's only one that's enough for my analysis now so I'm done with creating the step and I will move towards load um, now be careful when you create the load the load that you have is related to step buckling okay and in this case I will choose pressure continue and I have to select the surface for the to apply the load on it and now 
I will choose this surface, which is this rectangle. I will hit shift and continue choosing the other three rectangles, then done. And the type of load that I, I, I choose is a pressure. Now, the distribution of the load, it's uniformly, but I will define, I can define the load by saying uniformly and uh, divided the amount of applied load over the area of that load. Or I can say that apply a pressure equal to a total force of one kip only. Why one? Because we want to find the buckling load. So we will choose a normalized load. I think I, I explained that in a previous video. Now, for the uh, boundary conditions that we have, the first one, will be the boundary conditions be careful boundary conditions should not be applied in a step buckling but from initial step so i choose the initial i will change the types of selected steps to displacement and rotation i will hit continue and i will choose this point and this point okay and hit done then i will restrict u1 and u2 in this direction and in that direction allowing the deflection in to be in one direction only which is the, uh, the x's of the of this column hit ok now i have to rotate this column actually to draw the um the boundary conditions for the second end so i will keep everything as it is hit continue i will choose this point and that point hit done and i will concentrate u1 u2 and u3 so we will not have like um, free body motion okay now as we done with that we will go to mesh so we will go to part here and we will define the element type so i will choose the column hit done and okay, the element library is a standard, so that's fine. It's a 3D stress. Now, in a geometric order, I will change it to quadratic. Why quadratic, not losing linear? I will ask that question for you. I hope that you can answer that. And if you couldn't, please just write a comment and I will answer you. Hit OK. Then we will go, I think we are done with everything so we can create our job. Before creating our job, I will save the file. Okay, so modeling destructive style. This is a good place to, to save it. So this will be 3D column. That's a buckling. Okay, that's fine. I will save it here. So let's create our job and call it 3D oh, 3D buckling glued and I think it's better to make these hit OK and we will submit oops we didn't mesh our part we forget that let's go back let's go back to mesh okay very quickly we'll go to seed instance dismiss choose the part go again to seed part and will I use the suggested amount of um, of elements okay so go back to job and submit our job now oh, here we go so we can monitor it this should be very quick Okay, there we go. 
So I will dismiss this, and if I go to result, and choosing the deflected shape, this is the deflected shape. As you can see, the value of u here, the u magnitude, is the minimum is zero and the maximum is one. So this is the normalized deflection. This is not the real deflection. We will find the real deflection using another procedure. Now, um, what I'm interested in here is the eigenvalue, which represents the deflection, the load that uh, causes a buckling. And here it's 105.8. So 105.8, which is almost 100%. Let's be more accurate, a little bit more accurate. It's 99.8% of the expected load. So we are very good. We find the deflected load. Now, uh, the, sorry, the buckling load. And this is the first requirements uh, that required from us in this problem. The second one will be about how can we measure the deflection, the maximum deflection that we have here. And we need another model actually to do that. So we'll go back to our model this is model one simply we will copy that so we'll copy the model and we will define the other one calling it as model two and in model two we will use this information that we get here which is the eigenvalue and apply that load on model two and we will calculate or we abacus actually will calculate the deflection for us so let's go back to step be sure that you are in model two. And what you need to do is just to, um, okay. I will leave this one. I will create another step and I will call it step deflection. This time, this step will be general and it's a static general continue okay and I will dismiss it now if I go to load and I'm in model 2 and the step is deflection so I can see any applied load here I will add the applied load and this is load 2 that's fine it's a pressure continue we will define the surface as we did before We'll apply the load on this surface, hit done. And again, the distribution we will use total force. The total force should be equal to this one here. So I will copy it and paste it, saying okay. We can see that since we choose the um, boundary conditions to be applied from initial step, so they are still there. All with we did all the chains that we need. We will go to job. We will create another job. We will call it 3D. Buckling deflection. Continue. Okay. And now all what we need is to submit this one. And want to monitor it should not take a lot of time to be a little bit more than the first one but it should not be that much okay let's see what will happen okay that's good so I will dismiss it and go to see the results. This is the deflected shape. I, I'm not interested in on messes, but actually I'm interested in deflection. And the deflected shape will be in Y direction. So I will choose U2. And this is the deflection, the magnitude of deflection that we have for the, all our model. I think this has answered the questions that apply for us. So thank you for your time and I hope that you make benefit of this video.